Now with Starfield out, I decided to share with you a game that I've been playing almost religiously, and that is Spaceborne. The first Spaceborne, I have to say, because there's also a sequel, Spaceborne 2, but I decided to start with Spaceborne 1, and this is a space RPG, and the story is about you finding the cure for some mysterious ailment that you have. And this is a one-man project, which makes it even more impressive, because it's actually really good. Now, you start with a small spaceship at the beginning of the game, and you take on missions from various characters you meet in this vast universe. Sounds familiar, right, with Starfield out? Well, it's a bit like that. Now, th there's a merchant, and there's a quest giver, and there's a ship shop, and there's an upgrade station, so you can do a lot of stuff on these different locations that you will visit. And quests are actually quite different, and range from fetching something, and seek and destroy things, and it sort of keeps things fresh, because an effort has been made into making all the locations that you visit look distinct, although you will meet the same kind of characters there. But still, I mean, again, this is a one-man project, and he has put in a lot of effort. Also, in the different quests. So no quest seems like boring or the same as any of the others. Now, a big part of this game is dogfighting in space, and uh, it is actually quite arcadey and fun. So don't expect like a super duper uh, comprehensive and complicated anyway, spaceship. It's just guy. you in third person with your ship and just Enemy trying detected. to kill the bad guys, basically. Uh, so you will go head to head with a whole bunch of uh, of enemies. Uh, also, there are some uh, different aces, or how do you say it, different characters, uh, bad guys, not just the normal grunts, basically, but, um, you know, you'll go head-to-head -head with a bunch of bad guys that are part of the story. Uh, also, you can take down these giant big ships by targeting various systems on the ship, like you have to take down first their shields and then their um, their cannons and uh, the bridge and the engines, that sort of stuff, uh, so that you sort of wear them down and then destroy these capital ships. And successful missions will grant you experience to upgrade your character uh, through a skill tree. It's pretty rudimentary though, but it's there. As well, you can spend uh, money that you earn uh, from doing quests on new ships and sh ship upgrades. And uh, all these uh, upgrades you can buy uh, from uh, stations. You can also find all kinds of loot as you uh, kill enemies in space and they'll drop certain crates that you can uh, open up and look into and there's stuff you can get from that. But the only gripe I have with this game is that all stuff is leveled in this game. And you can only use a certain, let's say, cannon that's, that's above your level once you reach that level uh, in the game. So you have to grind for that. I personally don't like this kind of mechanic. It's also in other RPGs, by the way, like The Witcher 3, where you would go around the world, you find this, this great new weapon, and it's level something, and you've not reached that level. And I'm just not a fan of that leveled stuff, you know? If I find a better gun that I have, I want to use it immediately. I, I don't want to have it sit in my inventory uh, for too long. But you know, this game is just so impressive. It, it has some really good visuals as well. I mean, there's a lot of jank here, don't get me wrong, but some of the stuff you'll see in this game is just so impressive. It, it seems to be a mixture of, uh, like, like Mass Effect with No Man's Sky, with Star Citizen, with Starfield. I mean, it's all in here there's a lot you can do you can you can be a pirate in this big universe uh, you can follow quests of certain factions uh, you can trade there's a, a really comprehensive trade system in this game you can buy and sell uh, ships uh, upgrades as i said it, you can go out and concentrate on mining 
for valuable minerals and then go back to the space station and try to sell these minerals uh, to make some extra center. money. You can do bounty hunting. It's, it's crazy how much stuff is in here. So if you are into Starfield or any other space games, you definitely owe it to yourself to check out Spaceborne as well. Uh, again, there's also Spaceborne 2 that seems to have a lot more of that stuff in there. Uh, but I decided to start with Spaceborne 1 just to follow the story. But I, because I understand that uh, Spaceborne 2 is sort of a follow-up to the first uh, game and the story continues uh, from the first game. So uh, I definitely uh, recommend to play the first game uh, just to sort of see how this game has evolved. It's, it's just amazing, and there's not a whole lot of uh, people talking. Well, there are a lot of people talking about Spaceborne 2, but not Spaceborne 1. And this is where it all started, basically. So, this is what I think of Spaceborne. Let me know what you think, and see you in the next video.